Never do this to your mother's garden. I'm stuck. Marbles are fun. I'm going to do a race now. It jumps. That's crazy. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Someone's feeling the frozen vibes this morning. I'm Mama. Mama Elsa, is that your baby? Are you excited to go swimming today? Mm -hmm. Yep, we're cleaning it out. This is my toys. So Janae has been obsessed with this toy recently. What's this toy's name? Daddy Nemo. Daddy Nemo. Where's Baby Nemo? Where did he go? I think we left him. Yeah, did we lose him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's so sad. This is Daddy Nemo, and we had this little tiny, tiny version, and that was really her favorite. She carried little baby Nemo around all the time, but now we've lost him. We've been using the outdoor kiddie pool so much, and periodically I have to kind of, you know, dump out the water, clean it out, so that's what I'm doing today. Cleaned it out, and now we're refilling it, but I decided to fill up this little bin with soapy water. So the girls are taking all of their swim and bathtub toys that they've been playing with and cleaning them with soapy water, and they're playing in bubbles just a little bit. So Laura, are you playing or working right now? Both. Both, that's the best combo. I have a feeling the girls should be in their swimsuits because I think we're gonna end up completely wet. Do you guys wanna go get your swimsuits on? Yeah. All right, let's pause this and go get on swimsuits. So I'm changing Janae into her swimsuit and she looks at me and I realize I just put the swimsuit top on without taking her clothes off. Is that gonna work? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Silly mom. Okay, let's take your clothes off first this time, okay? Okay. Now we're in swimsuits and the girls have a rag. So now Laura's using the rag to wash the toy and this is where we'd rinse stuff off except I think Janae's just moving the soapy water into it. Good job, then you put it over on this towel to dry, Janae. Good work, Laura. There's parts of this activity cleanup that's going really well, parts that aren't, but I think that's normal for all of life. Elise is watercolor painting. What are you painting? A flower right now. Like different kinds of watercolor flowers? Yeah, like beautiful plants. I feel like watercolors are so pretty. Mm -hmm. they are. I'm telling you guys, these two little fish have been our friends. Um. Hey, baby. Do you girls want to eat outside today? Oh, yeah. So we're finding that anything we can do that will mix up the normal routine helps. So today we're going to be eating lunch outside. Cute little nose. Can we wake up my baby? Oh yes, everyone is sleeping. The wind is awesome. The wind is awesome. <laughs> what are we doing? We're playing in mud. We gotta make the mud first. Tomorrow morning, it'll be really 
Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Come, sisters. You're a good girl, Janae. Right, Caleb? Mm hmm. Now I have tons of good mud. Let's let that yeah, sit there soon, cold. and soon it'll be perfect. I'll Chocolate milk? <laughs> Sometimes as a parent, I'm tempted to interject how I think they should play with it or the ideas I think would be fun. Kendra's really good at encouraging me to try to keep quiet, to see what they'll do on their own. And I'm so grateful that we just get to see the way they're playing with it, the way they're developing their play in the mud. Never do this to your mother's garden. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to spend some extra time with Laura today because I just felt like she was really needing that connection and I also needed to get ready for the day so I decided to do both these things at once so I had her come into my room with me and I asked her to pick out my outfit she was so excited she brought me some choices she had to pick out my shirt and my shorts and my earrings and ask all the questions about the makeup and the hairdo and anyway it was fun to have that time with her, and now every time she sees me in the outfit, she like grins. She's like, I picked that for you. It was an easy way to connect with her. Thanks for the help. Somebody's getting sillier by the moment. <laughs> Start out by just going back and forth, get two, and you do that with those. So we switched things up a little bit with school this week and it's actually gone really well. Um, the kids still did their main school, like their reading and their math and their composition, but then we assigned each kid two projects and we assigned things that we knew they'd be really interested in. They each got one technology project, one electronics based project and one non-electronics based project. And so they had time this week each day to work on that and then now we're having a special showcase so they can show off what they've learned this week. A plant in a pot on a glass table. It looks like transparent. <laughs> I love it! wanted to prepare a PowerPoint presentation on cheetahs. Cheetahs are the fastest land animal in the world. Their paws are like plates and help the cheetahs run. Yes, yeah, like when they zigzag, they have to go. I have found Excel to be really helpful. I've been learning it and yeah, it's awesome. I wanted to start with something we all know, which is our family. Mom, the lover, Isaac, yes. the play with siblings room. Elise, the peacemaker. Caleb, the adventurer and cuddler. Laura, the joy bringer and the ultimate cuteness. Nana. Oh, our average age is 15.86. So it's an equation that I made, which brings out this number. I'm gonna click on link to onward. Boom, look, this pops up. You click on it. Boom. That's there. Yesterday I went to Costco. It was the first time I had been in a month and it was quite the experience. We needed to stock up on a ton of stuff and so I went and I waited in line. There was quite a line outside and I had to wear a mask and gloves to go into the store. Um, they were out of a few things which was a bummer. Like they were out of eggs and lots of produce. Oh, the produce section was so picked over. They were also out of ground beef. But they also had lots of fun stuff. So I'm actually really excited because I've been getting really bored with our same old meals that we've been eating. And so having just freshly gone shopping, I'm all re-inspired to cook. I found a pre-made dinner that we're excited to try. It's called Thai style coconut chicken and it's gluten-free and basically any pre-made meal that's gluten-free 
We'll try. So this was the winner winner chicken dinner. We're also having asparagus with it. Jacob, that's Elizabeth's baby. Can you say hi? Huh. Oh, that's her doll baby. Yes. Oh, that's a cute doll baby. That is like mine. Look, oh, Jacob's smiling at you. There, come on, let me back up. Oh, that's a cute baby doll. I swear these cups are one of the best investments that we've ever made. Are you gonna help make the tower, Nene? Mommy, do that! Mommy! Kendra just called me over because she I'm is stuck. stuck. I'm stuck, and I don't, it's not a big deal, but I don't wanna oh, I know pull how to my fix hair. It. I can see it. You just need to slide your little bun. Oh, the other way. See, that's what I need to do, because I didn't oh. know what was going on. There we go, there we go. Caution. Watch for stuck hair. If this thing was just I know. two feet higher. Or if I was just a little bit shorter. shorter. First we're browning the chicken. Now we're gonna add the sauce. Blog. You want to vlog? Yeah, because you are cooking with your hands. I'm cooking with my hands, so you want to vlog for me? Uh-huh. Alrighty, here you go. Thanks. Janae was watching me and she mm -hmm. said this is like yellow chicken. And mm -hmm. she also said that I'm a really good cooker. Hi everybody. I just got our asparagus out of the microwave and Elise is making us cookies. Can you vlog Lisey making us cookies? Say hi to your friend. Hi friend. Say hi to your friend. Hi friend. Janae, are you a vlogging prodigy? Yeah. Janae, do your friends live in the camera? Mm-hmm. Hi. What's your name? What's your name? Janae wants to know what your name is, friends. I'm waiting so long. What are you waiting for? Food. So we've got the asparagus and the chicken done and dad is just serving up the rice so it's only gonna be a few more seconds. Food is ready. So Elise and Isaac have both cheered over the fact that there is asparagus on their plates. I didn't even remember that we'd had it really as a family before and apparently they've been missing it. So that's a win right there. Asparagus, Thai, coconut chicken and rice. I feel like I'm calling for a puppy. Here, Caleb, 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 babe. Here, Caleb, Caleb. Come eat dinner. It is so hard to stop playing and come eat dinner. Oh, and the first one through is blue. So Janae came over with her mouth full and spit her asparagus into my little hand. So apparently she doesn't love asparagus. Yuck. That happens to me a lot. So at 6.30 every night, alarms go off that the curfew is about to come in place. Because it starts at 7 p.m. So everybody in Puerto Rico has to be in their house at 7 p.m. We're gonna get you. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Who wants to have a cookie? Me! Elise made us cookies tonight. These cookies are one cup brown sugar, one cup peanut butter, one egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a cup of chocolate chips. And then we cook them at 350 for about eight minutes. They're good. And they're gluten free, which is always important at our house. Your cookies turned out amazing, Elise. Do you want to carry them over to the table? Of course. Laura likes chocolate chips. And she likes cookies, but she does not like chocolate chips in her cookies, which I can't relate to because I love chocolate chip cookies. But we just made a few without the chocolate chips before we bake the rest of them. Chocolate chips are good, but they like melt a lot, so I'm, I have mixed feelings about chocolate chips. What? Baked perfectly. What do you think? Baked perfectly. Good. Oh, yeah, they taste pretty good. Yeah. I like them. You girls match tonight. Mm -hmm. Elsa pajamas all around. How do you like the cookies without chocolate chips in them? They're good. Janae is just eating the chocolate chips. Janae is taking apart her cookies because that is part of being a toddler. Elise, they turned out great. You have the magic touch. So we're all snuggling up in our bed to watch a show. 
Good night. Do you have Let's talk homeschool schedule. Whoa! If you could have anybody over for dinner tonight, who would you invite? 